Hey there, my name's Jesse Lane, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to read commercial construction blueprints, otherwise known as drawings or plans. They used to be called blueprints, but now we're just gonna to refer to them as the drawings of the project. And so if you're gonna be in construction, you're gonna to have to know how to read blueprints. So I'm gonna take you onto my overly expensive iMac Pro, and I'm gonna show you the basics of reading commercial construction blueprints on some of our example projects. I'm gonna take some of the projects that I've worked on with my company. I'm gonna start with an iPhone repair store, a doctor's office, a yogurt shop, a baseball park restroom, an office build out, an anytime fitness, an animal clinic, and then show you some other things like um, electrical and plumbing and mechanical and um, some shop drawings, some basic stuff that you're gonna to need to know to get started in commercial construction. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. An iPhone repair store. So um, I just kind of have the PDF here and I'm gonna open that up. A lot of what you'll be doing will be um, using a, like a PDF. I mean, once you're actually on site, um, you know, you're gonna have to have a, a set of the actual plans, which I don't even have any right here. They're all in the other, other room. But long story short, it's the first page it's going to kind of look like. So it's going to be, um, you know, an index of the drawings. You can see here I got my trackpad so I can kind of zoom in. An index of the drawings. The owner, the contractor, the architect. This is actually a design build project that we did. Um, and you can see it's a super basic project. I mean, I literally took a nail salon and I turned it into and I, and I fix it which is like an iPhone or any kind of phone repair store. Um, it tells you, so the first page here, um, and this is A for architectural here, you can see A 0.0, and any, any of these pages, A 2.0, A 2.1, A 2.2, it's just gonna go like that, they're gonna be numbered, but A means architectural. Because you have architectural, structural, civil, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, and those are the, the, the core components of a set of drawings. The architectural plans typically start with like a demo plan, a like demolition plan, and then it goes to a proposed floor plan. And then it's gonna go into what the millwork's gonna look like, the finishes, the room schedules, the door schedules, the, the different things that are components of the project that are more architectural. Now this is important. I'm jumping back and forth between cameras because I like to keep things interesting. <laughs> so that was kind of like, that was a dab, a little bit halfway a professional businessman dab. The architecturals are typically made by an architect, designed by an AutoCAD, you know, the whole thing. The structural plans are typically made by, or they are made by a structural engineer, okay? And then so we'll attach the within the PDF, the structural plans. Now the MEP plans are typically made by a mechanical engineer for mechanical, M or E is electrical, so that's made by an electrical engineer. A plumbing, I don't know if it's a plumbing engineer, but it's like typically the same engineers that are making MEP just do the whole package because they're MEP engineers. Or you can have your subcontractors for like a smaller project actually do, like I'll show you right now. Here's a plumbing, this is kind of what a plumbing um, riser diagram looks like. This is just a real basic office build out that we did. And it's just gonna show where the sanitary lines are, where the supply lines are going, some existing sanitary lines that we were tying into, um, stuff like that. And so that's just a basic plumbing. Now, um, I'll get into some of the more complex projects that have full MEP sets, like we did a design build on this animal clinic, which I'm gonna get into um, at number seven, so so stay tuned. And and by the way, if you're getting kind of antsy, you can actually speed the video up down on this bottom uh, right corner for you. You click the gear, go to like 1.5 speed or 1.75 speed, and uh, or click shift right carrot if you're on your desktop and it's like, so I start talking really fast. <laughs> and when I laugh, it's really funny because it's like in fast motion anyway. so. First one here, this is an iPhone repair store, okay? It's gonna tell you where the project is, the location map, the vicinity map, some abbreviations within the, the plans. And again, this is the number one, one that I'm showing you here, iPhone repair store. And so this is the most basic office build out, right? It's not really a build out, it's a tenant, it's tenant improvement work, which is a great place to start with commercial construction. Okay, so as you can see, this is the portion of work. This is actually the life safety plan. So a lot of times these plans, the first page will be kind of a general overview of the project and what's kind of going on and, and, and it's a tenant build out 
for iFixit. So that's kind of getting everyone's brain because the purpose of construction drawings is to get everyone's brain on the same page. So from the design team to the general contractor to the subcontractor to the people actually, you know, doing the work, like the laborers, like everyone, the superintendent of the general contractor, everyone needs to be on the same page. So that's the purpose of construction drawings is so, and of course, estimating before all that happens, you need to base your estimate, your numbers, your scope of work off of something. And I'm kind of jumping all around here, but this is a good just blah, overview, just spewing out information onto you about uh, commercial construction plans. So um, this is just a super, super duper basic um, build out. You can see there's there's five tenants in this building. It's it's a block building with with bar joists uh, running across and, and you know, TPO roof and and um, with scuppers and downspouts and you know just a basic commercial building. But we're taking this one space and turning it into a iPhone repair store. So the first page is the life safety plan, which pretty much goes through hey the least Tra amount of travel distance in like linear feet or whatever to show the city and so you can get a so you can get a permit right um how people can can egress or escape the building if in case of uh, an emergency or a fire or something like that so types of construction so it's going to go through different stuff see that means of egress and it's going to go through the building occupancy fire extinguishers need to be in in commercial buildings and signage and ex exit signs and 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 strobe lights and horn strobes and you know different things that need to be in a commercial building it's kind of all listed there in the first page so these are these rectangles here which represents the space we are working in right so you can see we saved some space on the plans um, and again this is uh, an architect that i brought in to this project i'm like i went to the client and i'm like hey i'm going to design your project this is actually like three or four years ago um, small commercial project but um, so this was a so this was a design build project like I said earlier. But long story short, we put the demo plan and the floor plan all kind of on the same page. On most projects, it's it's split up, and you'll see as I keep going. So as you can see, this demolition plan has these little numbers and these arrows pointing to specific parts of the project. So say number six, and you go here, general okay demolition legend. That's what you want to look for. Number six, carefully remove portions of the concrete slab to cap off existing plumbing below to concrete slab. Okay, so long story short, number seven, coordinate the concrete trenching with a register desk. desk. So we had to trench here um, for this new, see this, this register here? You can, I'm pointing, but you can't even see it. So I'm gonna use my mouse. You see this um, cash register, the cash wrap, we call it. We had to trench from this wall over to run the electrical to that so the electrical panel was back here and we had to trench or run through the wall and then trench over to get to this um this cash register and there's actually a video jlaneconstruction.com if you want to check out the final project walkthrough i actually did a, a project walkthrough on this project so you can see it on my company website but um this is what the demolition plan is is it's, it's pretty much just call outs and this is the most basic demo plan you're ever going to see is just call outs like number five hey remove uh the, the plumbing in the basin upper cabinets and, and just don't remove the soffit soffit to remain right and there's different things like vif if you ever see it on on plans that means verify and field and um, there's a lot of abbreviations that you'll just kind of get used to okay and then you move into the floor plan and so there's um walls <laughs> and there's notes and there's different things. Um, see that? Like the two inch PVC conduits under slab for the cash wrap. That's what we ran our electrical in. Patch and repair GWB. Well, what's GWB? Well, it's gypsum wall board. And that's just another, that's just a fancy or a short abbreviation for drywall or sheetrock. It's all the same thing. You can see this, these A's and the B's. Well, what does that mean? Um, a, that is referring to a wall type. So typically there will be a cross section kind of like this this is a for the work counter that we did for the back of the house people to fix the phones on but <clears throat> on these basic plans all that we did was right here walls ty wall types legend so a is a non-rated which means it's non-fire rated wall partition to six inches above the finished ceiling or the act acoustical ceiling tile so like the, the ceilings in a lot of commercial buildings are acoustical ceiling tile and grid. The tiles slip into or fit, lay, lay into the grid, so it's a, a drop ceiling, in other words. 
Um, three and five eighths, 25 gauge metal studs with five eighths gypsum wall board each side, braced to structure above at four feet on center maximum each way. Okay, so that was, those were the walls that we built to separate the front of the house from the back of the house. See this, the sales area, and this is the workroom. So we separated those things out. B, is a, it's an existing, that was just the existing firewall. All we did was take the drywall off of this side so we can kind of coordinate um, electrical and do some things there. But one hour fire rated wall partition, wall partition UL is a UL rating. So it has to do with like protections, barriers and, and fires and stuff. And we actually have a whole separate UL sheet that the inspector needs to see um, to, to, to know that it was built right, shows the components of how the wall was put together and stuff like that. So it's a number 465. So the UL rating is 465 or the type, um, refer to the UL directly. Okay, I'm not going to get all bogged down on that stuff. But you get the point of, um, of, of a basic, like the most basic floor plan for, um, for construction, right? And this happens to be a commercial tenant and build it. So RCP, you're going to get, that's another abbreviation. You're going to pick up a lot from this video if you watch the whole thing. Hopefully I'll provide value to you as much as possible. Stands for reflected ceiling plan. So here's a reflected demolition plan too, which shows us in the ceiling. So we have the, the, the demolition floor plan and the demolition ceiling plan. Now we have the floor plan and then the reflected ceiling plan, which shows us what it's going to be once we're done with the project. So you can see that these are our lay-in lights. And again, the demolition legend here is, is pulling from, from these, these circle numbers because it's on the, the de reflected demolition plan. So if it has numbers and it's pointing to something, look like, okay, well, what are those numbers saying? It's just the point is they're not going to write carefully remove partitions of existing ceiling, you know, grid for new construction. Typical, and typical just means it's happening across the entire project. Um, where it's you know but the point is they're not going to write that whole sentence there they're just going to put a number so it's clean and you go to the the spot where the legend is and you read what the number is and eventually just you'll memorize what these numbers are when you're looking at these plans now the reflected ceiling plan just shows where the lights are going to go this is not your electrical plan okay it's just a reflected ceiling plan so people know where to put the ceiling tiles they know where to put the two by four lay in electrical fixtures they know where to put the supplies and return um mechanical duct work and that's that's the that's the gist of it right so um now on a 2.3 you're gonna see and this is again the most basic set of plans okay so the room finish schedule pretty much just tells you what every single room is going to get and on a lot of projects like you see this PNT dash one it means paint number one paint number two paint number three it's just the different colors that you list out um, in a separate part of the plans that shows you like paint one would be the spec of the paint Sherwin Williams eggshell midnight gold you know whatever the color is and it's and it's that so but this is a quick view of what's happening in each room the door and frame schedule uh you know it just shows us which doors are existing and which are going to remain the type the material is it glass is it not whatever so the lobby you know three eight by nine oh that's the width and height the thickness you know so a lot of the, this is the most basic thing i probably had like one door in here you know what i mean so it's like it's nothing but let's hop in and take a look because we got a doctor's office to look at so Again, where's the project, um, what's going on, and the, uh, the index of drawings, right? So there's a, there's a bunch of stuff here. There's abbreviations, there's general notes. Always read the general notes, okay? Um, this is, there's a lot in here about what's expected of the, of the contractor, the general contractor. D1, you can see down here, this is another basic, you know, rectangular build out that again this is actually funny it was another it was an aurora hair salon right and we turned this into a doctor's office it's actually like a medical spa this is the floor plan remember so demo plan is what it's existing and how to demo it and then um, the floor plan what it's going to be when you're done construction so you can see these hatched lines um, on the walls show what we're going to be building and then the ones that are, are are smooth are the ones that were already there so we pretty much built all this this millwork one two three four and we had to trench plumbing because our plumbing sanitary line was back here so we ran a uh, we saw cut down through the slab into the dug into the dirt and trenched all the way down this hallway and went zip zip and zip and zip into each room with a new plumbing line 
and the supply lines, you can run the supply lines through the ceiling and down the walls, but you can't really run the sanitary. We've done it before with pumps and stuff, but this we just trench the sanitary, covered up with concrete after you termite spray. Never forget to termite spray the dirt after or before you fill the concrete in because if you don't do that you're totally screwed and you have to like you know do it all over so you can see like on the last set of plans there's these numbers one four one three well there must be a demolition keynote boom demolition keynotes remove existing partition remove existing case record remove existing door and door hardware remove existing door hardware and all such components so and then this number four they just did a separate note because they want to to maintain for reuse because this is this one door number four Anything on a demo plane that's dashed means it's going to go away. Anything that's solid means it's going to stay. So like this, we this was not a bathroom. This was just another office. So we we added, we demoed this door, uh, demoed this opening. We made all new doors because the bathroom, we needed, we, we wanted a couple openings, one with this waiting area. So you can see the, the final plan, the new accessible restroom, see, at the front. So again, we, we trenched plumbing. We did the whole thing to bring this. Um, up to an ADA, American with Disability Act. That's just a standard term you'll hear anywhere in construction, a lot of times in, in commercial because it needs to be accessible for those with disabilities. Like wheelchairs need to be able to turn and get under the sinks and they need to have grab bars uh, too. Uh, and there's, there's, there's 12 inches and there's different things that need to all happen. Now the toilet also needs to be like 16 to 18 inches or so off the, the, the side wall to the center of the toilet. There's a lot of different things that need to come together for that bathroom to be ADA compliant. And fun fact on this project, uh, the electrical, we ran all new circuits for these special lasers for uh, two of these exam rooms. And so those needed dedicated circuits. But long story short, um, this was another simple project. Again, the life safety plan. And you can see like there's no particular order. So this life safety plan uh, came after the floor plan here. But look, it has these, has these lines and it shows you like, okay, the person's gonna travel and this is how they're gonna get out from this back corner of this exam room. You know, if they're here, how are they gonna get out? And it shows the feet and etc. So it also shows uh, fire extinguishers and egress lighting and stuff like that and um, different things. Okay, so um, again, reflected ceiling plan and this shows what it's gonna look like once we're done. And then it's gonna get into some door jams and this is door schedule and details, you can see. So it's gonna show you the breakdown of, this is like a wall section, the basic wall section, right? Cause we built new firewalls. I'm gonna show you, if you look at the floor plan here, we built, see these ones that are, are dark? There was two different spaces. And so we put these three infill of this wall. This is all open. So we infilled, we, we framed up um, six inches above the grid and tied it off and, and, and fire. Uh, we made a new firewall component, fire caulking, insulation, you know, the 5 ace drywall as needed, et cetera, for a one hour fire rated wall in between the two tenants. So now it's just this, uh, this one tenant that's separated off. But uh, so that's what's kind of shown here with the wall sections, there's door sections. And again, um, ADA restroom, like I was saying, um, you know, these need to have all certain types of measurements. And so it's all pretty much shown on the plans. Okay. Um, and there's a lot more about millwork, which, which the millwork company, in addition to the detail on, on the plans, the architectural plans, because see, we're still in architectural, is millwork shop drawings. So each company, like your metal bar joist, your, you know, your millwork, you know, your different things that need shop drawings, which all shop drawings are, is the subcontractor will submit drawings from their shop showing, hey, this is exactly how we're gonna put this project together. This is how our components are gonna fit into your space. So here's an example of millwork shop drawings, okay? This was another office build out that we did, but you can see it's just a, a little bit more in depth and the architect can go and make their notes and call out um, exactly um, like here, no bottom cabinets. So see the detail four and A4.3. So they're just clarifying what's good and then they'll, they'll approve the final set and the, the millwork company will build it from, from those specs, from those shop drawings and we're good to go. So the reception desk, okay, so there's a sanitary riser diagram. This is actually a really simple plumbing plan here for this, this project, but okay. So this is a yogurt shop. Again, rectangular tenant space. There's a demo plan here on page D1. Super basic plans, right? A1, all, all this is, 
is equip is an equipment schedule. See, and, it, and there's notes by each one. So one, two, three. They're numbered out, and you can see the spec of exactly what's going in here. There's a door schedule, and this is all just crammed onto this one page. So not every set of plans is the same. Ah, okay, technical error. The QuickTime movie literally stopped recording at 30 minutes. So I'd recorded another 30 minutes of straight awesome stuff, but didn't record. So literally next day here, different shirt. Let's dive right back where we were with this yogurt shop. We're just gonna keep moving here. Sorry, but stick with me. You can see that I showed you the demo plan. I showed you the architectural plan and how these numbers call out to the numbers here. So these are these are squares. So the square 11 is gonna pull to the square 11 off of uh, the plan. So you see all those little numbers and there's also letters which pull to the wall legend. So you can see here there's a wall legend and an equipment legend or schedule and it's gonna pull from, from the floor plan. So the wall section is also gonna show you how this wall is actually going to be built. And uh, I'm not sure if I showed you this portion or not, but this is a slab repair detail, which once you cut in the slab for your plumbing rough, this is I'm um, showing you we want 3000 um, PSI concrete with of course the termite treatment and all the different things that need to happen for that detail. Um, so you're gonna keep moving, it's gonna show you the HVAC rooftop detail, how the RTUs, rooftop units, are going to attach to the roof and get bolted down. And you can see here, this is the mechanical floor plan. So you can see we have off of these main trunks, we have branches of flex duct. And so those are all above the ACT, the acoustical ceiling tile. And this is gonna show us exactly how the mechanical guy needs to run his duct work. And you can see here, RTU1, um, this shows a new rooftop unit, rooftop unit number one. And it shows you the CFM, the 1200, the fans, the horsepower, the compressors, the, the condenser fan, all that kind of stuff. The electrical that it needs, so you're gonna make sure that your electrician knows that it needs a 240 volt single phase, you know, all these things that need to happen for the electrician to work with the mechanical guy and make sure everything fits together in one piece. That's your job as a general contractor. So, of course, there's a bunch of notes and the exhaust fan detail and the methods of hanging. You can see it all here, and your mechanical guy is gonna know in depth about what his his, his job uh, entails. So this is E1, and this is a very basic build out again. So it's just pretty much like one page per MEP. And so here's E, electrical, and you can see all the different things and the, the phasing, the electrical riser plan, and where each, um, out, light fixture and outlet are going to go. And so how each wire is gonna to tie together for each circuit and then how it's gonna home run back to the panel. And if there's any sub panels, and we actually, we were adding a panel to this job. But here's the plumbing, so P1, the, the, the riser, the sanitary riser and the water riser. So the water riser is for the supply, which comes from your, your water heater and then goes to the building. And then your sanitary riser is where the stuff goes out because it's the sanitary line. And so a lot of times there's a, I think a three inch, yeah, there you go, three inch, um, and you can and you can see it just it um, goes out to like the sewer or whatever the new ADA toilet. So you're cutting in. So let that's the plumbing plan. So you can see there's architecturals and then there's MEPs and then on this there wasn't any structural work because we we're good. This is a baseball park that we did um, for the city of Jacksonville actually, and you can see again first first page kind of telling you where the work is. And this was a at a school and there is this baseball park in the school. Um, not in the school, but in the school lot and you know, next to it, I should say. And we pretty much remodeled this, this tiny little building. And this is just a really, really basic uh, set of plans, but just kind of showing you um, how basic these can be sometimes. It's you know, nothing to really be scared of if you're just starting out. And so there's, there's a basic electrical notes. I mean, this is literally it. And um, this is as simple as you can get, right? Just a little kind of baseball park building um, restroom renovation is what that was a bunch of years back. Um, that was our first job uh, for the city. But here's um, a, a kind of good size office build out, right? So again, um, first page telling you telling you where it is, the wind zone information, the the the, the, pro, the um, building code summary and general life safety notes, and again, site plan telling you where this is located, the 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 work area on the site plan where it's located on this on this lot, and so. This is the life safety plan. Again, you see these lines. This is showing us, well, from the farthest portion, which is this corner here on the left, how this person 
exiting can get out. We actually ran into an issue on this project where we needed an extra five feet here because it was 20 foot max in this hallway for it um, to be uh, egress. Um, a bull, <laughs> egressible, that's not really a word, but um, the fire fire marshal had some comments on that, so we had to readjust our, our floor plan. But anyway, um, here's the RTU roof plan. So they stuck on this page, A2.1, see? Um, the roof plan, the first floor, floor demolition plan, and the second floor plan. So the reason they had the second floor plan on there was because we were running up to the rooftop units, condenser lines and all kinds of stuff, electrical for the new, two new rooftop units, because this was two different tenant build outs. There was an Allstate insurance company and, and an Ergo Body Pilates studio, which we did kind of hand in hand at the same time. And so we, we ran all this stuff through the second floor walls. It was a two story building. And then from the first story up, um, to the roof. So demo the floors for, and you can see the same call outs here and then the same demolition legend. So number one, carefully remove the brick at the new window openings. Well, here's number one, look, it's hatched. Remember hatched on demo plan means it's gonna be removed. And so the new firewall shown here, and you see this, this little thing right here, A, and then it goes a line, has a line through the wall, B, a line through the wall, D, a line through the wall. Well, it's telling us something. So wall types legends, wall types legend, A, B, C, and D. Well, it's showing us, it's five eighths gypsum wall board with you know inch and five eighths metal studs and um, drywall on the other side. And so this is just gonna run you through everything you need to know uh, about the project. And so one fun thing about this job was, you know, First of all, open bar joists in some area, and you see this drywall in some areas. So this is the hard lid, like you'd have drywall on your ceiling. This is what we did here. So we had the two by two surface mounted electrical fixtures versus here, the open bar joists where we did DTM, which is direct to metal paint. After um, we cleaned the rust off and stuff like that, we added the track lights here. So the track lights were perfect for the open concept ceiling because you could see straight up through to the roof deck um, and the bar joists and then we attached ceiling fans to there with unistrut and it kind of made it all fit together. Um, but I did want to show you here where we cut in these windows. <clears throat> so this was all brick on the structural exterior wall. So there were some um, some details. Again, here's your door and frame schedule, your room finish schedule, and this tells you exactly each room, what it was, and what's going to go into that room. But let me get to, here we go, the details, which, check this out, window schedule, right? Hopefully I'm not losing you. We're on page A4.3, okay? And here's your window schedule. So let's see, two on A4.2. Well, are we on A4.2? No, we're on a4.3, so it must be the page above. So here's A4.2, there's a bunch of details or cross sections of this window type B. So detail two on A4.2. Well look, the page right above it, A4.2, see what I'm circling? And then detail two, there's detail two. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there's 11 details on page A4.2. And see so each of them have A4.2. So somewhere on these plans, it's going to pull um, a note to this page. So detail two on A4.2. Well, that's going to tell us exactly how we need to seven days stucco over the five days fiberglass matte sheathing, remove the existing finish. We did the Conier tri storefront um, trifab versiglaze 451, thermally broken window and liquid applied um, waterproofing membrane and all this stuff. Um, we added new angle iron lintels, which you can see here with continuous aluminum brakes around. So we did like six or seven new windows in this building and a brick wall. And this was all kind of structural, um, even adding some new steel plates with three eighths diameter um, anchors and, and, and every 10 feet on center. OC always means on center. So anyway, you get the, the gist of um, what, a, what a floor, what a office build out um, is gonna look like. And this was a fairly medium sized compl complication um, project. Um, here's all your ductwork. Remember, this is where the drywall was. So this is where all the drywall, sorry, where all the, where all the ductwork is gonna run, where the drywall is. So there's no exposed ductwork where the bar joists are with the open ceiling. And here's a basic electrical floor plan. Okay, so I wanna kinda of just finish this video up. Um, here's a, just really quick, run you through this Anytime Fitness. Again, it's telling you where it is, a bunch of ADA stuff. And this is a corporate project, so it's gonna be a lot more complicated when it comes to the formalities and the regulations for this corporate entity that really wants to protect their 
everything about their, their business. And so here's again, open bar joist concept. And where these cross, this is your RCP, remember the reflected ceiling plan? Where these cross hairs are, that's actually showing you the grid of the ACT, the acoustical ceiling tile. Your acoustical ceiling tile sits in the, the acoustical ceiling grid, you know, which holds the tiles. It's, it's all one system, the tiles and the grid. And so, which are suspended by um, wires that get tied and screwed off to the um, the bar joist or however you want to, to the roof deck, however you want to fasten those. But there is some metal um, steel plates that needed to be added for the logo walls, which you can see right here, logo wall and details. See, that's a steel plate. And again, another page for all their details. See, logo wall elevation, there is like the um, stone veneer, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so long story short, um, a bunch more details, wall sections, and here's a bunch of specs. So you need to read all this stuff. This is all specs per division, per each trade. And it's going to go through, this is a low electrical CE1. This is M1. See the all new cylindrical duct work that was going in. Duct work. <laughs> That's going to go into this project, the all new um, rooftop unit. And this is a big, this was like a $40,000 um, HVAC number, but um one guy bid 60, he was kind of high. But anyway, mechanical two, mechanical three, so it's all just specs, specs, specs. Um, and so E1.1, this is a bunch of electrical, but then you're gonna get into low voltage too. E3.1, blah, blah, blah. Okay, E4, there we go. Low one and low two, right? So low voltage stuff for signage and whatever else is, is needed, but that's those are those plans, it's not that complicated. Now this is a animal clinic that um, we actually designed, built. So we designed these plans and we're building, we're actually starting this job in a, a week or two. So you guys may be able to, I'll do some vlogs, be able to kind of track along with this project. This is the the animal clinic that we're working on. Again, uh, we hired this this architect to come in and, and do the designs and, and get everything. We coordinated the structural engineer and the mechanical and electrical and plumbing engineers to make sure everything fit together into a package. Um, again, look, life safety plan and, um, the demolition floor plan, anything that's hatched is going to be demoed. And again, renovation keynotes. See, it's the same. See, he's he's fancy. So he's doing hexagons here. See, number four, it's four hexagon. Well, here's a four hexagon. Remove the existing millwork. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty straightforward. But there's also some demolition notes. These are just general notes. It's separate than the actual keynotes because these are, these are keynotes calling from the numbers. Now the floor plan, this is what it's gonna look like. And you can see these clouds, and you can see this is revision one, see here in the top right? Um, revision one, uh, anything that's clouded like this means that it was a revision. You can see this this triangle one, that means it's a revision one. Different than this this um, kind of diamond one or whatever, that's, um, that's a wall type legend. So let me show you this, see A on A1.1, pointing to this logo wall here. So A on 1.1, um, well, I'm sorry, detail, yeah, yeah, I'm right, detail A on A1.1. So I'm on A1.1. So here it is, look, A, this is detail A. So I can look at that and be like, oh, well that's, because it's pointing a direction towards, that black thing is pointing towards the wall. So it's like if I'm standing right here, I'm looking, I'm looking this way, this is what it's gonna look like. And then look at this, detail two on A1.1. Well, that's convenient, I'm already on A1.1. Well, here's detail two. Well, okay, here's one, one A, and then two. And these are all on this page, A1.1. So detail two, okay, so what that's saying is if I was to stand in the middle of that wall and then look through the wall, like x-ray vision, this is what this wall is going to look like. So there's a new light fixture, there's this fiber cement panel, um, you know, how it's gonna to fasten to the slab, all that kind of stuff is gonna be in that wall section. So that's how that works. Now here's one, it's a fun one, A on one, a on A 1.2 is, is this line going through this drop soffit on the ceiling and then looking that way, it's saying if you're in the middle of this soffit looking that way, that's what it's gonna look like. 1.2, 1.2, detail A. Well, there's only one detail, so that's pretty straightforward, but it's detail A, and this is what it's gonna look like. Three and five eighths metal studs framing at 24 on center, suspended from the, from the ceiling or the structure above with half inch um, sheetrock and um, that's what the soffit's gonna be built out of. Toilet elevation, it's a bunch of ADA stuff. Um, it has to be, you know, people need to be, be able to roll under the sink, and there needs to be like, um, I think 60 inches or so, maybe it's 50, um, clearance and a, and a diameter going around from the middle of the ADA restroom. Here's your millwork, okay? So the millwork, 
again, I wanted to show you, you already, already showed you, I believe, the millwork shop drawings, and this is just more detail about once the millwork, right before it gets ordered, what it's actually gonna look like um, in the field. And so this is just getting the millwork guy the information he needs to, to bid the project and, and the general concept. So there's actually like three pages this is the third page here of millwork drawings and it goes into the door schedule which we've been over that hardware schedule room finish schedule the legend so all this information is here for us to be able to build this project okay so um that's it i mean there's there's heavy mep drawings here they did a really great job this is mcveigh mangum um engineering and we, we hired them separately than the architect to do the mep drawings and then we made sure that all of it was going to function together here's all of our new sinks and all of our millwork here's the mop sink and and, and the, the fridge lines for the water supply for that and just all kinds of different stuff um there is Mechanical plan, we actually value engineered, VE, value engineered this mechanical system because before it was a cylindrical duct, it was like a big metal ductwork system, but no one's gonna see it. And so we pretty much said, well, let's just do ductboard and flex trunks. Let's run off the, um, or branches um, off the, the ductboard trunk. And, and we pretty much saved thousands of dollars for the client because we were able to value engineer um, this mechanical system. So there's this is how it's gonna hang from the the ceiling and these are the the, the um, concealed ductwork installation detail and the mounted detail and the makeup air for the roof and everything that needs to to do how it's gonna condensate. So here's electrical plans and you can see there's exit signs and um, fire alarm risers. Which actually this building we're not gonna do a fire alarm because it's not needed. But anyway, um, long story short, this was this was a um, a good design and, and we're gonna be starting this project soon power demo so i feel like you uh kind of get the idea here uh, sorry i had to refilm a little bit but uh thank you for watching and i really really appreciate you guys being subscribed to this channel make sure to follow me on instagram jesse lane tv if you want to follow me there i'll see you in the next one